Hi guys, I'm just back from getting my hair done. We're getting ready for Rosie's wedding. Adrian is here too. <laughs> Hi guys. And she's gonna help me do my eyes and then I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup myself. But I thought I'd just show you what we're using um, and yeah, I just thought it'd be a nice video to do. Nice to remember getting ready for Rosie's yeah. wedding. Yeah, hell so, yeah. Yeah, okay, we're gonna start with the eyes. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use this palette. It is the uh, Anastasia Soft Glam. It's um, Aileen's. Really nice colors in there. It's so nice. It's like the perfect just palette for like everyday kind of bit. So I used this for the base. This is tempura, mm. the white color. Um, and now I'm just gonna go in with the shade burnt orange and orange soda, and I'm just gonna like mix these together. I should probably say I'm wearing lemon and lilac. That's the yeah. color of my dress, and it's a green. Oh my god, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, I think we'll just keep your eyes like quite. I don't know. Natural, like, cause it's it's such a summery day. I would I wouldn't want to be wearing. And you don't really wear like, no, anything too at the end, no. right? Can you see that? I'm just like really softly like blending. Yeah, so just blending. So excited for today. That's funny though, cause I'd never think to wear orange with with yellow or purple, like you know. Well, it's not really orange. It's it's just kind of like brown. It's like a shade of brown. Like it doesn't come out like orange mm. orange. It's just more of like a a warmer tone rather than like a cool tone brown. You know. We're gonna add some shimmer. We're gonna add fairy. Fairy. It's kind of like yellowy. Um, it's on my hand there. It's like a yeah. It's like a nice, nice and light. So you're just gonna put this like right on your lid for a nice bit of shimmer, shimmer. It's so nice out. Like what a day to get my hair. So nice. I can't wait to get into my dress. I know. Same. Strobe cream first. This is just the Max strobe cream for like a base. Um, and Adrienne's there doing her makeup behind me. What are you gonna do with your face, Adrienne? I think I'm gonna keep my eyes quite like simple, just have one color like really snuff out. And then I have a really nice new lipstick that I want to wear. Oh fab. Okay, I'm gonna wear my YSL Touche Cla All-in-One Glow Foundation. It's really nice, really good coverage, and it's still really light and it holds well. This is shade Warm Honey. I'm excited. I'm excited to have a dance tomorrow later. I know. That's fun. I wonder what the food will be like. I think it'll be so nice. I think it'll be so nice. And I just think everything is going to be so perfect. And there's going to be a gin bar, she told us. Oh, really? I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer just under my eyes, just to brighten them up. And I might do a little bit of a contour as well in a minute. Oh, this is shade Classic Beige, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit of contouring. I'm gonna use the Tom Ford shade and Illuminate palette. You're so fast at your makeup. I know. It's still on one eye. <laughs> Eyes are always the longest though. Yeah, true. True is that. Yeah, it's so nice. When did you get it? Uh, they sent it to me when it first came out. When was that? Like, a while ago, probably like March or February. How many eyeshadow palettes do you have on the go at one time? Oh, like like right now with me because I like was leaving to come to your house like two. It's hard to pack makeup and like it's so jewelry hard. and things, isn't it? Like for a weekend oh, away. Do you know what? I find jewelry the worst to pack because like sometimes I can't tell what I want to wear until my outfit's on. Like it's hard enough to plan your outfits, and then you need to plan your makeup around your outfits, and then mm -hmm. you need to plan your jewelry around your outfits, like your bags and like. Yeah, it's like a V stress. I went home last weekend, and I went home with like my carry-on case. A full big like travel bag and I had like three or four like shopping bags as well. I'm like when you came back up to No, the literally room. going down for like two days. Oh no way. I just can't decide sometimes what I need and what I don't need, yeah, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set the foundation with this La Mer pressed powder. It's just it's really light. It just kind of kind of just holds it and keeps any like unwanted shine away. Show me that powder? Nice. Mm. I'm a 
looks nicer. I love, I love getting ready with other people because it's so funny like how different. Yeah, I feel like everyone is. Yeah. Mind if I use one of your highlighters actually? I feel like you have such a good highlighter collection. I actually didn't bring that anyway. This is the The highlighter? Yeah. Laura Mercier. Oh, that's nice. It's really nice. In discretion. In discretion, it's called. So nice. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna start with my brows. This is Tom Ford Brow Sculptor. I'm gonna use Glossier Brow Boy then on top of that, just to kind of make them look a little bit more that nice? natural. I love it, yeah. It's it's similar to, is it Cabrow by Benefit, you know? Just oh yeah, the, just the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, next up I'm gonna just put um, mascara on my bottom lashes. I have uh, lash extensions on my top, so I'm not gonna put anything on top. So this is the Smashbox Super Fun False Look Mascara. It's new. Okay, bronzer time. It's Tom Ford, the ultimate bronzer. I've literally had this forever. Kind of broken, but it still works. If I turn this upside down, it falls out. But all good bronzers do that, don't oh, they? Yeah. <laughs> Any bronzer you love, that happens to you. Yeah, I feel like if your makeup looks like so untouched, you probably don't like it that much. Hey, Dean's let me use some of her pride and joy. Oh Fix yeah, plus. no baby. Ooh. How many sprays? That's not that much. Yeah, just a few. My lashes have like a shadow on them, so they're kind of gone whitey, so I'm going to put like black eyeshadow on them. Genius. Can I just show everyone this brush I'm using? It's actually unreal. This is a new foundation brush and from Powder and Powder. It's P220. Oh, it's so nice. But like, oh my god, it's unreal. Ooh, I like how it's big it so, is. Yeah, it's almost like a beauty blender in a it's brush. Like, it's like it's like the size of your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good though. For my lips, I'm gonna do the same combo that I did for the style awards. So it's the MAC lip liner in Honey Pekin and the lip stick in Shrimpton. It's really nice new nude. It's such a nice nude. Mm. I'm finishing off my look now with this Lancome lip gloss. It's Lancome Prismatic Plum. They're really nice on and they're kind of like metallic. This is my finished makeup look. It's really natural and light. Probably top it up throughout the day anyway. Oh, yeah. And I'll probably top it up when we get there because I'm going to change when we get there. Jared is here now. Hi, Jared. Ignore my messy room. <laughs> and I'm going to show you a little look at my dress and then I'll put in some pictures from the wedding and everything then as well. Like so this is my dress. It's like lemon and lilac. We're all ready. We're just going to pack up and get finished getting ready and then we're going to head down to Carton House. So I'll share all the photos and stuff. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed watching us get ready. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye guys. Bye. Where do you want to go? How much you want to risk? I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts. Some superhero. Some fairy tale bliss. Just something I can turn to.